Hi everyone. Today I'm going to do to re, do a video on puzzles, and by puzzles I mean jigsaw puzzles. The puzzles like this one. These puzzles that have like 1,000, 2,000, or whatever pieces. And right now I'm solving a a puzzle from London that has 2,000 pieces. And I've been asked a few times why do I solve this kind of puzzle? So why would I waste time trying to solve a 2,000 piece puzzle? And the thing is, uh, there are a lot of things that you can apply from the f from solving a puzzle. You can actually uh, gain conscious about things that you can apply to real life. Let me explain this a little bit better. If you watch my video uh, on goal setting. Uh, so my plans for 2017, I think. So my plans for this year, my new, my new year resolutions. And I say in this video that I'm very goal driven. So I, I always try to define goals and try to achieve these goals. And I know a lot of people that don't do this. So they never set goals. They just live their lives, whatever they want, however they want. And. I heard this from a, a guitar instructor, uh, Doug Marks from Metal Method. Uh, if you are into guitar, maybe you've heard it, you've heard about it. And he said in one of his uh, lessons that if you don't have a clear picture of what you want, uh, you will not get a clear picture of how to get it. And this is something that you get from the puzzles. Because for, in, in this case, for example, this is my goal, so to solve this image. And it's also possible to actually solve the puzzle without knowing the image. So if, imagine that this is your goal. So if you know that this is your goal, you have a clear picture of what you want to achieve. So it's this, I want to solve the puzzle and achieve this. And defining a goal without a clear picture of what you want, it's like trying to solve this puzzle without ever having looked at this picture. So if you never looked at this picture, of course you will eventually solve the puzzle, but you, it will take you a lot more time. And this is one thing that you can apply to your life. So if you set a goal and the goal is not specific enough, it will be much harder to achieve this goal. And the puzzles make this very obvious. Because even though you can actually solve the puzzle without knowing the solution, uh, you will be always wandering around, oh, where is this piece from? Uh, and this, is, does it go here or, or there? And you will also behave in your life like this. Like, yeah, I could give you a million examples. And also one thing that is really good from puzzles that a lot of people also don't apply to real life is that you solve a 1,000 piece puzzle, one piece at a time. You don't put 10 pieces at the same time. And in goals, it's the same thing. So you, sh you don't need to rush to get through a goal. You just define your goal and you will eventually get there. One thing that helps me a lot with this is to, is to actually have a time frame. Uh, because there, there is uh, a saying, I, I don't know who, who came up with this quote, but I can actually check it and maybe write it in the description box uh, after the video. That a task that can be achieved in one week, let's say, and I give you two weeks to finish this task, you will actually use the two weeks. So you will always stretch the time to finish a goal to fill the maximum amount of time that you were given to actually finish the task. If I give you one week, you will probably finish in one week, assuming that it's, it's actually feasible in one week. But if I give you two weeks, you will most of the time stretch. So you will or work slowly or do something else because you know that you have two weeks. You don't need to rush it to do it in one week. And this is one thing that helps me. So if I, if I set a goal, so in one month I need to achieve this, it, it usually helps me to actually achieve it in one month, assuming that it's possible. 
And going back to this one step at a time thing, uh, you will eventually solve the puzzle one piece at a time. And you know, so the um, breaking down this image into pieces is done by you, by the company that manufactured the puzzle. So the pieces are already there. But in real life, a lot of times you don't know these pieces. You have to deconstruct your goal to how to, can I achieve this goal? And if you have a set of smaller goals, let's call it baby goals, you will have to conquer these baby goals one at a time. It's exactly like a puzzle. You will one piece, two pieces, three pieces, eventually you will get the whole thing. If you think about the 2000 pieces puzzle that I'm working on now, it feels overwhelming to think how it was even so big. I started the puzzle in one table. I had to move it to another table because the table wasn't big enough because I didn't check the dimensions before. And a big goal can be very overwhelming. So if you actually break the goal down into tiny pieces and focus on one piece at a time, you know, and you can actually track much better the progress to achieve the big picture. And this, it's very fulfilling when you actually achieve the big picture, even though the baby steps might not be very significant. And this basically this is what I wanted to say with this, why I build puzzles. So actually solving a puzzle uh, gives you kind of a practice of getting this mindset also into your daily life. At, at least it does to me. Uh, assuming that you actually build your puzzle kind of, kind of, kind of in a meditative way. So you are actually focused on the puzzle. And that's also one thing that I do. I don't touch my phone while I'm solving a puzzle. And I use something that is called the Pomodoro technique. Uh, where you focus for 25 minutes on something and you pause for five minutes, you do a five minute break. Uh, I will also put a link for, for this Pomodoro technique in the description box. And I know a lot of people that would never do something like this. They would try to solve the puzzle and they would check their phones like a million times. They would probably spend more time on the phone than actually trying to solve the puzzle. And in, in real life, using the phone constantly also affects uh, your productivity in general. And this is something that I also use. So I use the puzzle also to practice this kind of mindset that I'm doing the puzzle. I'm not doing anything else. I don't touch my computer. I don't touch my phone. I don't touch anything. I'm one with the puzzle. And then I can achieve the, I can actually finish the puzzle much faster because I'm completely focused. I'm not thinking about anything else. And this helps me a lot in my life to actually achieve a lot more stuff in a lot less time because I'm completely focused. And yeah, basically that's it. We are getting around it like 10 minute video. And that was more or less the time that I wanted to talk about this subject. Uh, so I'm not saying that you should solve puzzles, but I think it's very helpful to have this kind of mindset and this is the reason why I solve puzzles. So for people that ask, actually ask me why I solve puzzles, this is the mindset behind solving a puzzle. And hopefully you'll get some ideas from here. So if you like the video, don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get uh, early access to my future videos. Bye.